Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Heels. And guys, it is time to talk about the real housewife of Miami because Miss Gertie Abraria Abraida is coming in hot and she's talking about what is yet to come to Miami and an explosive reunion. And we need to talk about that. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Verify Troops, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. Now let's talk about this mess. I'm loving the Real Housewives of Miami, okay? Peacock did that. They reinvent themselves. I mean, yeah, like Miami, they reinvent Miami. They change the color pattern. They change the music. They change the vibes. Like, the whole thing, it just feels so fresh, so amazing. Even though we still have Alexia, Marisol, Lisa, Adriana... Yeah, those four, you know, from, from the old cast. Um, it feels like it is like a completely new thing, you know? Like, if you really go and compare it to, like, the last seasons, it feels completely different. And it's amazing. It's bringing the money, the cash, the obnoxious lifestyles, you know? And also, the drama. Like, the drama, it's insane. Every single episode, there is something going on. Oh, Lars, it's also a old one. Uh, every single episode, there is, like, something going on. Well, girl, I mean, if you are not watching Miami, you need to be watching Miami. You don't even need to watch the first three seasons if you don't want to. I will recommend it because, girl, I mean, if you want to know the whole story, knowing from the beginning, but, I mean, you don't really have to watch the first three seasons, but um, it is that good, right? And now, you know, they film a reunion. I'm so happy that they film a reunion because I was like, I cannot have a housewife without a reunion. I mean, that's the most stupid things that it will happen. It's having a housewife show without a reunion because the reunion give us closure, give us conclusions, give us new drama for next season. Like it gave us so much, right? So when they announced that Miami was going to have a reunion hosted by Andy Cohen, I was like, yes, girl. Yes, give it to me. We need more of this. So now, I mean, they already have a lot of drama, but now we have Miss Gordy uh, talking about the future of what is coming on the show and the reunion as well. So I'm going to read this to you. It says, Real Housewife of Miami newcomer Gordy Abraria, Abraira <laughs> wants fans to be prepared for a wild reunion with the cast. She teased the theatrical event in an exclusive interview with Hollywood Life. She even teased that there's crazy drama coming on the remaining episodes and at the reunion, which the ca which what? Which the cast already filmed. Gordy also said Adriana had the most conflict with me that than I did with her. What's happening is she felt intimidated, obviously, with Julia and I's relationship. Girl. There's a couple dinners and lunches that we went to without her. And I think that she went into mother bear mode and defending her status with Julia in such a way that was not the way I would have handled it. Ooh, girl. Finally, when asked about the reunion, she said... I feel great about how it turned out. It was nerve-wracking for sure. I didn't know who was going to come with receipts, and I definitely was ready with mine. But you guys are going to flip out when you see some of the stuff that happens. It's quite theatrical. You will see what I mean. Girl, I'm, I'm down with the theatrics. Give me a housewife twirling. Give me a housewife trying to drag someone else, screaming, uh, pushing Andy Cohen, doing whatever they need to do. I'm here for it, okay? So now my thing with, honestly, Gertie is 
at least till now, he is my least favorite, okay? I don't quite connect with her, you know? Like, I, I, like she goes, I mean, I feel like she's just too cray-cray, you know what I mean? Like, um, she, I feel like from all of the girls, and especially the new ones, she's the one who is trying to push too hard all the time, you know what I mean? So, I think that she's the one trying to, like push for some unnecessary drama or trying to like respond in a certain way um i don't quite understand her i don't quite get her you know like i i i know that she's trying to make housewife happens but i don't know if it seems too good on her you know i'm still gonna give her another second don't get me wrong you know i feel like you know always for seasons for some housewife actually many of them it's very like weird you know like um like they need to get a little bit more season but for example nicole she was she was being very boring she was literally becoming like the teddy Mellencamp of miami and then she started kind of like getting a hold of the things and now she is a, a more involved right julia i thought at the beginning julia was lost but now, I mean, Julia is one of my favorites. I mean, girl, I mean, she is kinky AF. She knows what she wants. And those Russians, they know how to do things. I personally have a, a very good Russian friend, and that's Julia right there. So I, I know, I, I already know what I'm going to be expecting from Julia in the future. So I'm very excited for that. Um, who is, uh, those are and, and Gordy is the other new one and Gordy has that like I haven't really connect with her because I I don't feel she's authentic you know what I mean I feel that she's pushing too hard and that she's trying too hard to be a housewife and I don't know if it comes naturally to her you know and then like she wants to have confrontation but at the same time she doesn't want to have confrontation and it's like pick a side you know and um it's like learn your place, you know, you are new here, like you need to not be that extra and know where to do drama and when not to do it. And I, don't, I feel like she hasn't really, yeah, she hasn't really like um, earned that um, spot with me, you know. Like I said, I'm still going to give her another season because some sometimes second seasons people really go and surprise you right so let's wait and see what is going to happen over there i'm very excited for their theatrical reunion i'm here for it from the rest of the episodes if you are not watching you have to okay it is time for you to get peacock i mean look it's the future it's 2022 you have to get peacock it's 4.99 it is what it is right just go and get it and watch miami and ultimate gold strip because it is that good so anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments be uh, below are you excited for miami what do you think is gonna happen uh who do you want next season i don't know let me know everything and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel guys and i'll see you in an hour when i'm possibly doing the recap of the real housewife of orange county and we are going live where you're going to be able to call give your opinion like the whole thing all right so see ya bye